This is just a formal way to write complex numbers. So for example, that last problem, right, resulted in 3i times the square root of 14. So this would be an informal way to write it formally. And yeah, we're going to have to do this on the homework, right? We would have this as 0 plus that. Now it takes on this form of a plus bi. So what this means, too, is sometimes we may get a number, maybe like a negative 8. And it may tell you to write this in the form a plus bi. So we would just write this as negative 8 plus 0i. See, now it takes on the same form a plus b, which would be the 0 value here, bi. Uh, I apologize. I should have put this all on one line, but it makes it really small. Just know that if we're subtracting two complex numbers that are in formal notation, this a plus bi stuff, right here, we would just distribute this negative one into the parentheses. That's all it's saying. And from there, we're combining like terms, which is what this is showing. It's showing the same thing with the addition. It's just not as long because it's not as many steps. And yeah, I guess that bottom line there kind of sums it up down here. All right, so add or subtract this one's addition. And of course, we want our answer in the form a plus bi. So on this one, since it's addition, it's having the parentheses there is not really going to make a difference. So I can get rid of well, both sets of parentheses. And now I'm just looking to combine like terms. So, for example, I have this 8, which does not have an i. And I have this negative 8 also, which does not have an i. So they're like terms. So when I combine these two, 8 plus a negative 8, I guess I could have included that plus sign in there. 8 plus negative 8, as it turns out, is 0. Now, of course, that, that takes us into this form this a plus bi stuff, right? And if it's a minus bi, that's fine, just it makes b negative. Uh, but now what we're going to look for is the i values. Here I've got a negative 3i, and then I've got plus this 3i. So that would be a positive 0i. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. And that's it. Yeah, we keep the i there just so that it takes on that form a plus bi. So unfortunately, even though the answer is just 0 on this, you would want to write 0 plus 0i. Zero